It's been a couple of months since I've done a proper TBR for the month. The last time I did a TBR video, it was my Shameless Book Con TBR, and I didn't necessarily do one for the month, which actually was probably a good thing, considering the fact that I've mostly been mood reading, but also mostly listening to podcasts lately. And since my main source of reading comes from audiobooks, and most of my audiobook time has been taken up by podcast time. I haven't been reading a ton of books this month, but that's okay. I decided either way, it's always easier for me to just have like a smaller list, like a pared down TBR that I can focus on for the month and kind of go back to if while I'm mood reading, I don't know what to read next. So let's talk about those books. The first book that I wanna read is by a new to me author. And I found this book and this author from a Goodreads list. I've just been looking for virgin hero romances and this one happens to be a virgin hero. I, when I like added this to my list of like, so I have a whole list of books that I want to read that have virgin heroes. And when I added this book to the list, I truly did not know very much about it. It is Gods and Monsters by Saffron A. Kent. So the very first line says, he was an artist, she was his muse. And I love that. I love an artist hero. And I think they both live in a small town. I think he's a photographer because I think he takes pictures of her, which in one sense sounds maybe a little bit creepy, but I don't think it's supposed to be because they meet, I think, when they're 12 years old and then six years pass of them being friends, I guess. It's a star-crossed lover situation. So for the six years that they were friends, they kind of have been in love with each other for those six years, but meeting in secret because, like I said, star-crossed lovers. So I guess the town felt like maybe he was a bad kid or something. It doesn't really say why, but it says six years later, like there, there came a time when the heroine has to choose between love and family. And it doesn't necessarily say what she chooses. So I don't know if maybe she runs away with him or if she does end up leaving him or what the situation is. But I will say I'm a little bit worried that it starts when they're 12 years old. Here's the thing in my search for virgin heroes, like when I'm looking for a virgin hero, I'm not necessarily looking for it to be like, a young love type romance situation. I want them to be adults at that point. So I'm a little bit worried about that part of it because new adult isn't my favorite and sounds like this one might be new adult. So we'll see. I have DNF'd quite a few of these books that have virgin heroes that were on my list. We'll see how this one goes. I'm a little bit hesitant going into it. And then the next two books I'm gonna read are actually going to be for my members, my members dedicated reading vlog. The book that my members voted on for my next reading vlog for them was Give Me More by Sarah Kate, but I haven't read the second book in that series and that one is the third book. I did read Praise for my members last time, that's what they chose, and then they chose Give Me More next, but I haven't read Eyes on Me. So I told them that I would just read both of them for the members reading vlog. And to be honest, I, that's probably going to be the next book that I pick up is Eyes on Me. And this is part of the Salacious Players Club. I don't know who or what these books are about. I don't know. I'm not I'm not even going to try to guess because I purposely have been staying away from any details about this series because I read the first book and really liked it and knew that I was going to move on in the series. I don't like to know too much about books that I'm going to read. I tend to just, if I know that I want to read it, I want to know as little as possible about it. But I do know that the series Salacious Players Club does revolve around this like sex club and the owners of the sex club. And I think, because it's a group of friends that own it, and I think this follows the different people who own it. And I think maybe, I could be wrong, but I know one of the books, the hero is actually one of the antagonists in the first book. It's the heroine's ex-boyfriend, which I'm a little hesitant about because I really didn't like him. He was kind of like a deadbeat. But I'm interested in it because a lot of people seem to love Give Me More especially, so we'll see. I think a lot of people like Eyes on Me, but I don't, I remember there being some sort of People had some sort of issue with it. I don't know, we'll see if I notice it. And then I chose a book that was part of my Shameless Book on TBR that I wanna read. It's Only For One Night by Naima Simone. This will be my second Naima Simone book. I didn't love the first one, so again, I'm very hesitant going into this one, but she is going to be at Shameless Book Con, so I, I do wanna read this one to see, like, just to give her another chance. I'm gonna be reading that one. I wanna say this is a one night, it's, from the title alone, it sounds like it's a one night stand turned into something more situation. The next couple of books that I want to read are books from my physical TBR. I do try and read books from my physical TBR every month. Um, I'm slowly whittling it down. At, at least my adult romance TBR that I haven't read yet, like physical TBR, that one is slowly but surely getting whittled down. I have so many like YA books that I haven't read yet and I have a feeling I'm never going to read them. So I'm slowly but surely starting to list those books on my Depop so that I can just sell them. Because usually if I unhaul books, I unhaul it and do a giveaway for my members. But I feel like my members don't really read 
YA, so I'm just gonna sell them. Anyway, back to my physical DVR. One that I wanna read this month is The Romantic Pact by Megan Quinn. Megan Quinn is definitely an author that I am trying to read her backlist, like slowly but surely, digging through her backlist. I love her books, they're super fun, they're rom com -y. I don't know too much about this one. This one sounds like it's a second chance romance and also a sports romance because the hero is a football player. Another book for my physical TBR is Equivalent Exchange by Christina C. Jones. I got this book fairly recently, actually. I fell in love with the cover of it. Christina C. Jones, again, another author whose backlist I'm going through and reading. And this one, it sounds like we have somewhat of a mercurial hero. It says about the heroine, her life is shifting rapidly and the sudden captivating intrusion of Lakin Kimball isn't exactly reassuring. Karis Lakin is comfort and risk wrapped in one very appealing package. And honestly, again, it's similar to Megan Quinn and any author whose backlist I wanna read, I don't necessarily need to know what the books are about. In fact, I don't want to know what the books are about. I'm just gonna read them and I kind of trust the fact that I like the author that I will like the book. So that one is on my physical TBR list. And then last but not least, I always have a buddy read with Steph from Novelty Corner. And this month's buddy read is gonna be Pansies by Alexis Hall. This one's technically part of, I think it's called the Spires series. This series, this is book number four in the Spire series, but I'm pretty sure you can read them all separately and standalones. I don't know too much about this. It's a queer contemporary romance. So one of the heroes, Alfie, it says he's got a six-figure salary, a penthouse, and a car he swore he'd buy when he was 18, a bunch of fancy London friends. This seems to be kind of a theme in a lot of Alexis Hall's books and he does it so good and I'm totally okay with it. And it's that you have one of the heroes who seemingly on the outside is very put together, usually has a really nice job, gets paid well, all of that stuff. But on the outside, they seem to have it all together. On the inside, they're a little bit of a hot mess. And then the other hero typically is someone who seems like a, a hot mess on the outside and usually is on the inside too, but then they come together and it's opposites attract kind of thing. So it sounds like that's what this book is gonna be as well. I'm excited. I love Buddy reading Alexis Hall books with Steph, so looking forward to this one. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, happy reading.